325 helmet torch. Again, intrinsically safe, photoluminescent shroud, waterproof, 16 hour run time, 171 lumen output. And as you can see by the clip on the helmet, it will slip straight into any of the Pacific brand helmets. But what Pelican has done with this torch is to consider the safety of the user of the torch. You'll see a lot of helmet torches that have traditional mounting brackets which encase the torch in such a manner that if the torch was to become entangled in something like air conditioning ducting wire or similar, in order to get that torch off the helmet, you have very limited opportunities and in fact increases the risk of the member because you may resort to having to take the helmet off, which in a fire ground is not recommended practice. So what Pelican have done with this torch is provided a breakaway clip. So the torch itself, if it becomes grabbed, entangled, once you exert about seven kilos of pressure, the torch will actually break away from the helmet. It won't fall away by itself. It actually has to be put in a position where an amount of pressure is put on it to break away, but not such that it will cause damage to the wearer's neck. And to re-engage it on the back of the torch, there's a series of blocks. So as you slide it back into the helmet mount, you can feel it and you can hear it click into place. So you've got both audible and tactile sensation of putting the torch back into its mount. As mentioned, tail end switch. Torch itself can swivel in its position, but it's all about the safety of the user. Now to further enhance the offering of the Pelican 3325, we know sometimes the torches are issued to members and sometimes they're left rolling around in the ute or they can't be found at the time when you have to turn out to a job. So what we developed at the request of some of the fire brigades was the Pelican 3325 torch case. So in this unit, you have your spare batteries in the tray underneath. You have your five torches sitting in there. And once you know you've got your five torches in there, you can close and lock the case. You can in fact put a security tie or similar into it so that you know that the torches have all been inspected and are all good to go. And of course, if one of the torches is missing from the case, it's going to be extremely obvious by the gap within the case.